So that is an outfit. Absolutely love it. It's summer, let's have fun and buy stuff. I love this swimsuit, it's really gorgeous as you can see. My lights went off in the room and I had to switch to this room that has two beds. Share with you what I packed, I just got into the room. Hello and welcome to my channel. I just arrived in Istanbul and uh, I am in Radisson Blue. I want to share with you what I packed. I just got into the room. This is, by the way, quickly my outfit. My original pants were without this belt, but those are extremely comfortable beige uh, palazzo pants that are a bit short. I'm wearing this Uniqlo uh, white uh, top that has the bra attached to it. And on top of it, my shirt from uh, Ralph Lauren but it's a shirt that I thrifted a while ago. I have my gold earrings and I'm wearing all my piercings for some reason. So my Tiffany gold uh, hardware a bracelet, my Apple watch and my wedding set. Let's begin, shall we? First of all, I took with me a pajama. This is one of my favorite pajamas and I like to travel with something a bit comfortable, but also modest. You never know what will happen. In case of an emergency at the hotel, I don't want to walk around naked. This is a Ralph Lauren a pajama that is very colorful, very summery, and it comes with a pant that looks like that. I always, whenever I arrive in a hotel, I unpack everything and I start steam ironing or sending to the iron to get things ready. In most big hotels, you have a hairdresser, so I'm planning to take a shower and go do a blowout to my hair so that I look ready for tomorrow's meetings. I love to travel with longchamps. This is my longchamp in uh, the medium size, long handle navy. That is the first bag I got. And of course, I flew with the big longchamp beige one because it goes and matches my Remova cabin bag. I'm going to put here on the side which Remova model I have. I love this bag to death. It's not very expensive in comparison to most removal bags, but very reliable, especially if you travel a lot and only take a cabin bag, I would definitely advise to invest in one. When it comes to clothing, I can never travel with one of the compact traveling pouches. This one, as you can see, compacts. The uh, travel uh, cubes are not that interesting for me. However, the collapsible ones, of course. The only thing I would advise you, I got these from Timo, which is like the Chinese alternative of AliExpress, but with faster delivery, if you know what I mean. What I love about these is that they open completely. Some of them open halfway through, and that makes packing them very difficult. And the way I pack these is I try to fold, not roll, everything flat around the surface and that makes you pack as much as possible. Of course, the Uniqlo shirts that have a bra in them come in so many ways. This is the other one I have with me. It's in tank top form. This is an amazing piece for layering and also for the days you don't want to wear a bra. A Uniqlo uh, white shirt. These are so beautiful. I'm planning to wear this. I'm going to show you I usually pack outfits, so the first outfit would be my green wide-legged uh, Uniqlo pants. Those need ironing, of course, with a white t-shirt. And the only belt I got with me, my beloved and other stories, uh, crocodile leather. I don't know what color, this is not brown, it's like burgundy brown. Somehow I love this, this really looks chic, elegant and great quality. That is my first outfit. Second outfit, again, secondhand item I bought, my latest, greatest purchase. It is a Mommy Helfiger dress. I love this dress. This outfit is so laid back. It's my Levi's, Levi's 501 jeans with this uh, polo Rolf Lauren yellow shirt. And I'm planning to wear this open to bring in some color. And last but not least, I took with me these, this white boss vest that was also secondhand, by the way. This was secondhand, this yellow shirt was secondhand. It's crazy how many items I own are either secondhand or unique clothes. <laughs> but that is just the way to my heart. This is so chic. I can wear this button down with the jeans, 
for a night out. That is everything I have with me. When it comes to shoes, I came with my white sneakers. I'm only planning to wear this like I did today for traveling and on the day I'm leaving and in case I do a lot of walking, but none of the days I will, but I just have it with me. But the two pairs I packed for me, of course, the Vivia Yafa mules. I love these to death and I'm planning to style these. As you can see, I worn them to death. They look worn out. I'm planning to wear these with, I don't know how I'm gonna model this, but the Tommy Hilfiger dress with these and with the navy bag. So that is an outfit. Absolutely love it. All the other outfits, I'm going to style them with these heel mules from Vivia, Vivia. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly, but yeah, I love how these look. They are super elegant. So imagine the jeans with these and the yellow shirt. I want to buy the Swarovski um, colorful necklace that would have looked amazing. I saw her actually styling a Ralph Lauren yellow oversized shirt with them. They look amazing. So those were the major things I packed. When it comes to toiletries, of course, my trusted go-to bag. I have my facial cleanser from Clinique, random but toothpaste. My Philips Trusted uh, Electric Toothbrush. My beloved dupe of La Mer Cream. I use this for my face and also for my body. Deodorant. The three beloved travel hair products. This is the Kerastase Elixir Oil, Moroccan Oil, and the number one all-in-one hair treatment. Shampoo and conditioner. I don't really remember. I usually take whatever is it I'm using at home, and I did that a while ago because I also take this duo with me to the gym sunscreen this is the one from Aven. i usually love to travel with stick ones uh, because they're very slim and i can put them in my bag because some protection is a must pimple patches of course the perfume of choice whenever i'm traveling is la vie belle and this is the refillable one i always fill this bag because it's a very compact very light i like this because as i said it goes well in the morning goes well in the evening it is so versatile for traveling my tweezer men set for manicure and also my tweezer men tweezer <laughs> and take notes for my everyday makeup this is the mac pro long wear concealer this is the dior forever glow maximizer in the shade Bl rosy love this it's like a blusher highlighter and bronzer together this is the Giorgio Armani uh, eyeshadow in, I think this is the darkest brown shade. I'm not sure the shade name is gone. My favorite lipstick is the uh, Viva Planet from the Maximal Matte Lipstick Collection. This is the best nude shade for people who look dead with a very <laughs> pale nude. I love this mascara to death. This is the Dior Show Iconic Over Curl, not the waterproof version. And this, even if it's not waterproof, it lasts me beautifully even when I take a shower, which is crazy. My Forever Lip Liner MAC Stone. I love this. And the nail polish of choice for traveling is always the Organdi by Chanel. I'm gonna wear this, so I'm gonna take a shower, uh, do my hair, and then put this nail polish on. Of course, Fenty Heat, Fenty Beauty Heat. I love this lip plumper. It's gloss. It's almost empty, so probably I'll finish it this trip. Hair ties, razor. I'm taking a medication, like for diabetic people, with this needle. And that is all that stuff. I always recommend to have with you makeup cleansing wipes. These are the ones from uh, Rituals. I love these because they're very compact, and I always buy them from the airport. And last but not least, because I lose a lot of moisture from my skin due to a lot of flying, what saves me is that I use this, these wipes to remove all the impurities and also to clean my hands with sanitizer. And then I use this Moisture Surge Overnight Mask Hydration from Clinique. This for traveling saves my skin from 
everything that could happen to it. So I definitely recommend that. I packed with me. My beautiful grandma gifted this to me when I was getting engaged. It's an 18 karat gold necklace. I love that. It's in a choker style. My aunt gifted this to me as well. I guess it is gold as well. So that is the extra accessories I have with me. That's it you guys. Maybe something else I would share with you from this is the sunglasses pouch from Celine. I always have it with me. I wear it like that at the airport because I put in it my passport. It's great. It's for my sunglasses, but I barely wear it for my sunglasses. This is the desk agenda from LV. It is something new, but I use it actually for my iPad. Um, I bought this secondhand from Japan to test it from eBay. It came with this uh, discoloration here, and I'm not sure, probably I'll try to clean that up and paint it, but paint it in the same color. I'm not sure if I will be able to get the exact color match, but other than that, it's pretty functional and very good quality, and I use it for my iPad. I have a iPad case, and I put the case cover here, and that is what I put around. It's pretty cool because I use it like a notebook, as you can see, and you could even fit more stuff in it. And by the way, my makeup pouch in the bag is always this one. It was the gifted one from Dior Beauty. I love Dior Beauty pouches. If you uh, follow me on Instagram, my latest reel was showcasing all the freebies I got because I bought stuff from Dior Beauty in love with Dior Beauty everything. Definitely recommend you switch to buying stuff from Dior Beauty because of the rewards and the gifts you get. Also Chanel Beauty does that. So, but Dior Beauty in Europe, at least it works. So I had with me some stuff I was also carrying for friends here, like a Celine belt and some Stanley cups. But that's about it. I traveled with a cabin bag, as I said. Oh, from the airport, I always also buy chocolates for my colleagues. And this time, I got my eye mask, so I invested in the Samsonite eye mask. And I ended up not using it in the plane. Very random. Hello again. I thought I would come back and share with you. In the same trip, I had to extend so I stayed over the weekend and since I had to extend, I had to buy some stuff. Also an incident happened, um, my lights went off in the room and I had to switch to this room that has two beds, but yeah. And today I went to the pool and in order to go to the pool, I had to buy a swimsuit. So this is what I bought. This is not from a specific store, but I love it. It's a swimming suit with a skirt and I like to be modest a bit because I also have people from work so I bought a unisex um, swimsuit shorts I'm wearing those with the swimsuit as you can see but for walking around this is I love the swimsuit it's really gorgeous as you can see this is by the way my beloved Celine sunglasses and excuse my hair it's like a beach summery hair but what else did I get? Let's start with the brandless stuff. I bought the swimsuit and this stuff from the store downstairs at the hotel. Usually you have exciting stuff there. Um, I saw this dress on TikTok so many times and I have to tell you, you guys, this is a dream on. I cannot wait to style this and wear it. It's really lovely, very flowy, very feminine. It's lovely for a summer date. Um, I love it. The other one I bought is this one. I, this is an old style of summer dresses. Very comfy to wear. So I'm really excited to wear this since it's hot weather here. Uh, to wear it for the outside. Style it with my Vivia shoes, which is what I'm wearing today such a cool uh, look in general but those are the two things i got from that store for the rest of my shopping spree we went to a mall that is very luxurious here and i went to some stores here 
uh, I had to go because my clothes will not be able to endure with me a longer period and I found that if I wash them in the hotel here it's almost like add a hundred more Turkish lira and get something new so I thought let's use the opportunity it's summer let's have fun and buy stuff uh, first things first I needed undies and those are my favorite ones from intimacy maybe I can briefly show you one they are high up briefs I love they're seamless and they are in the corset line so they keep your lower stomach uh, in if you wear high-waisted pants these are the panties for you I usually get them one size bigger than mine to make them more comfortable but of course you do you then I also got from Intimacy, they have a linen line. I wanted something to wear for the airport, like an airport outfit. And this linen line is so comfy, you guys, but a little bit dressy because in the front it's like that and from the back it's the elastic. So I got the pants alongside the shirt. I could wear this shirt like that or uh, style it with a top underneath but super comfy and via yeah, cheek for the airport and linen so I can use them for vacations later. Next was the items from Zara. Uh, Zara here, fun enough, has stuff that are very much different than what you have in Germany. I have been seeing vests like this everywhere. This one is so beautiful on, very structured like a top. I love it. It's a mix viscose and polyester. I usually don't like to buy polyester, but this one does not feel that much like polyester, but much more sturdy. This one though is viscose. It's like a very basic dress, a shirt dress, but I loved how long this is. It's not super short like most in shirt dresses and I loved the knitted look this could be even worn until autumn which is amazing and then Massimo I saw this from the outside and I ran in this style bucket um, in the acquisitarian style looks so cool it reminds me of the old Gucci style and look at this my swimsuit is wet, but look how pretty this sits. I am without closing it so that I don't ruin the leather with the water. But just to give you the point, look how pretty this is. I love it. Even if I wear it with this uh, set, it just gives me a style of a very nice, expensive, elegant look. I love this belt and it's 100% cowhide, which is amazing. And this was less than 30 euros and it's viscose completely. I love it, it's a one-sided shoulder. Love, love, love this top. And there was a reel I saw on a, a TikTok of a lady wearing this beautiful wide-legged white linen pants and they were sold out. Then I tried to go find them and then I found these in, um, instead and you wrap them this is how it would be it's so chic you guys you have no idea last but not least i cannot come here or go to egypt without passing by bath and body works why because their candles are the best in the world i've been using the candles from bath and body works since i was in university and they have been up to the promise they give that's why i love them to death I bought one for our living room and this is the jasmine oud one. It smells very oud but floral at the same time. It reminds me a lot of some Jean Melon uh, ones. I love this. And I bought one for our bathroom. This is the sun drenched linen. I love linen scents and this is just perfect for the bathroom. When we have guests, I like to light a candle to keep it smelling fresh, and that is absolutely it. You guys, these are everything I bought. I hope you enjoyed such a random video, by the way. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want more uh, vlog-like videos like this. 
I will be more than happy to do them for you. Have a happy life, Goose, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.